Hi and welcome to this instruction video on how to knit toe-up socks. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to knit the heel. I'm going to do a German short row heel on these socks. And I will be showing you how on DPNs and later on in this video on circular needles. For both types of needles, knit until you have the desired length of your foot. I just ended on an instep row. These are the instep stitches, which is the front or the top of your foot. And here is the sole. Um, I'm going to do a contrasting heel. And for that reason, I will first knit across this row with the contrasting color. If you are not using a contrasting color, you can just use uh, you can just continue using the main color. Make sure you have the sole stitches on one singular DPM. This will really um, facilitate uh, knitting the heel. And I just transferred, because I was doing the sole stitches on two needles, I just transferred them to one needle and put the other needle in here for the instep. Because you do need to have three uh, needles in total otherwise you can't knit very well and the transferring of stitches is very easy let me just show you just transfer them like this you just slip them purlwise and that's how you do it so now I'm gonna start with the first row of my heel I'm gonna use the contrasting color for that and it's going to be all knit. So you knit all stitches of this row with the contrasting yarn. Now we've knit all stitches in the contrasting color. Now you're going to turn your work, you're going to work in rows. And we're going to start doing the German short row heel right away. So now we're going to make what's called a double stitch. To make a double stitch or the German short row heel stitch, you're going to want to have your yarn on the front and just slide your right hand needle in purlwise. You're going to take that stitch off. So you're just going to slip it purlwise and then you're going to lift the yarn. See that? So we're just going to bring it to the other side and back around. So you see we have two main color loops here right now. And that's what we call a double stitch. So you essentially have two loops here, a double stitch. And now we're just going to continue purling all the way to the end of the left hand needle. Now we've knitted all stitches of the needle. We're going to turn the work again. Now on the knit side, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. We're going to make a double stitch. And in order to do that, you need the yarn in front and you slip the needle in purlwise like that. Take the yarn, lift it, and you're not going to be able to lift it as much as on the purl side. So you're just going to bring it to the back and this time it stays on the back since we're doing knit stitches this row. So just tug it and continue knitting. And we're gonna knit all the way until we come to the first double stitch. So I'm almost there. There. Now I only have the double stitch left on the left hand needle. And be careful not to drop this stitch off the needle because it's very hard to recreate um, 
a double stitch without having to rip back. So you're going to turn very carefully. And for the next purl row, we're going to do exactly the same as for the very first double stitch. You have the yarn in front, you insert the needle purlwise, slip the stitch off, lift to the back, right round to the front again, so you can purl the stitches. Only this time we're not going to purl until the end, but we're going to purl until we get to that first double stitch we come across. So I'm almost at the double stitch. There it is. See that? That's a double stitch. We do not want to purl that one. So again, being careful that you don't drop it off the needle, turn your work. And for the next knit row, take your yarn to the front. And again, slip the first stitch purlwise and lift as much as you can. Pull the yarn to the back and just start knitting. And that's how you essentially do the first part of the heel. So you're going to repeat these two rows. On the knit side, you're going to hold the yarn in front, slip the stitch purlwise, and hold the yarn in back when continuing for the rest of the stitches. Mm -hmm. And for the purl row, you're doing basically the same thing, holding the yarn in front, slipping the first stitch purlwise, lifting the yarn to the back, but then also bringing it to the front again so you can purl. And you're going to continue doing this until you have just a small amount of stitches left between the double stitches and you're going to want to have the same amount of stitches as you had for the toe cast on. So for example, I cast on 10 stitches on each needle for the toe. So for the heel, I'm going to want to, well not decrease, but I'm going to have to knit double stitches until I have 10 stitches left in the middle. So you're going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll meet you back here for part two of the heel. Welcome back. Now we're going to do part two of the heel. In part one, you'll have done all the double stitches right along each edge. And according to your pattern, you'll have a number of stitches left in the middle. Um, so what my pattern calls for is that I have 10 stitches left, which I have right here. Here you can see this is the last double stitch I did. Here is another one. And then in between, I have 10 stitches. So now I'm going to end this row by knitting the double stitch. And knitting this double stitch is easier um, than most people think. You just treat it as if it were one stitch. So you slide, um, you insert your needle into both, so under both of the strands, and then you just knit this stitch. Then you just turn your work. So right now we're facing the purl side or the inside of the sock. The first stitch you slip. So this is the double stitch you just knit and you just sl slip it purl wise without knitting or purling it. And then you continue to purl the rest of the stitches. Now we've come to the second double stitch or I mean to the first double stitch on this side. We have knit one double stitch here. So on the purl side, 
you also treat it as if it were one stitch. So you insert your needle. Make sure you have both strands on top of this needle. And then just purl. Now turn your work again. Please note that with um, the second part of the heel, you don't need to make sure you have the yarn in front. You just need to have your yarn in the correct position to do the stitch you want to do. So we're knitting on this, this row. Uh, so the yarn is in back. The first stitch, we're just gonna slip it. So we're gonna do this purl wise but that doesn't mean we have to have the yarn in front. So we just hold the yarn in back and you um, you slip it purl wise and then you knit your stitches until you come across a double stitch again. So you can see here is the double stitch and here is the previous double stitch that we just knit and then slipped on the previous row. We're just gonna knit this one and then just knit the double stitch as if it were one singular stitch. Turn your work again. Slip this stitch off your left needle and purl until you come across the next double stitch. So you can see I have my next double stitch here. The previous one is under the stitch here. We're just gonna purl that. And then for the double stitch, just purl it as if it were one stitch. And that is how you do the second part of your heel. So you see it has begun to turn here. And you're gonna knit this way, just from one side to the other in rows until you've knit up all of those double stitches. And then I'll probably make a video on how to close the gap um, after joining in the round again. So stick around for that video. If you have any questions about this heel technique, please don't hesitate to ask any questions. You can just do so in the comments below and I will just um, try to answer them as um, quickly and as helpful as possible. And again, be sure to check out my other tutorial videos and you can find the full pattern for this particular sock on my website and you can find the link in the description box below. Now I'm going to show you how to do the same German shorter heel on circular needles. You knit until you have the desired length of the foot and you end on an instep row, which means you end knitting the top um, of the foot. So you're going to turn now. You have your sole stitches here. And we're going to knit one row with the contrasting yarn. If you are not doing a contrasting heel, you can just continue with your main color. Now we've knit across the sole stitches of the sock with the contrast color. We're going to turn the work. Now for the German short row heel, we're going to create double stitches. Um, to do that, have your yarn in front insert your needle in as, as if to purl, so purl wise, slip the stitch off the needle and take your yarn and bring it to the back. So you just take your yarn, bring it to the back of the needle so you get these two loops. Then bring your yarn to the front again so you can purl the rest of the stitches. So you're going to really have to tug on this. 
and then purl the rest of the stitches of the row until the end. So now we have purled all stitches on this needle. We're going to turn the work again. And on a knit side, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. You have your yarn in front. You take your needle and insert it into the first stitch purlwise. You slide the stitch off the needle. Take your yarn and pull it to the back. For this time, on this row, it's going to stay on the back in order to do the knit stitches. So really give it a tug and just continue knitting the stitches. So on this row, you're going to knit until you reach the double stitch. Double stitch is right here and you're not going to knit that one just yet. Um, you're going to turn your work again. Be careful this time not to drop this stitch off because they're very difficult to recreate without um, rip, ripping the knitting back. So we're on the purl side again. And we're going to repeat what we did last time. You have the yarn in front. You slip the first stitch purlwise. You're going to lift the yarn to the back and right back to the front again. And then you're going to purl the stitches until you reach a double stitch. So we're almost at the double stitch. Just one more. And there it is. It looks a bit different because I still need to tuck this. Um, so there's a double stitch. And again, we're going to turn the work and be very careful about the double stitch not falling off. So we're on a knit row again. And again, with yarn in front, slip one stitch purlwise. Then lift the yarn to the back. And it stays on the back so we can knit these stitches. So here you see we have created two double stitches and on the other side we have also created two double stitches. Now you're going to repeat this sequence until you have only a few stitches left between the double stitches and that stitch number is going to be the same amount of stitches as you cast on on each needle for the toe. So if you did uh, for example 8 stitches or 10 or 12 you're going to have the same amount between the double stitches here. So I cast on 10 stitches on each needle for this toe. So for the heel I'm going to repeat these knit and purl rows until I have only 10 stitches left between the double stitches. So for a sock with 60 stitches, so 30 stitches on each side, that would give me 10 double stitches on each side and 10 stitches in between. So you're going to want to go ahead and do that and then meet me back here for the part two of the heel. So welcome back to part two for doing the heel on a circular needle. You can see I've knit the first part of my heel and there are, so there are double stitches along each side of the heel and then there are uh, stitches left over in the middle. You'll have to consult your pattern on how many stitches you have to leave in the middle. Usually it's 8 or 10 or maybe even 12 for a man's sock. But in my pattern it says 10. So here is my last double stitch. And here is my double stitch on the other side. So in between I have 10 stitches. And I just ended on this knit row. And on the very same row 
and we're going to start knitting the double stitches. So here goes. Here is the first double stitch. And you will just treat this as if it were one single stitch. So you insert the needle. Mm, make sure to really catch both strands. And knit it. And that's all there is to it. Now turn your work because we're still working in rows. Now you will see the double stitch here that we just knit. We're just gonna slip that one off purl wise, pull it tight, and then we're just gonna purl all the way to the other side until we come across another double stitch. So here is our next double stitch. So insert your right hand needle under both strands and then purl as you usually would. And there you go. Now turn your work again. So we're on the knit side again. And um, on the second part of the heel, it doesn't matter, or it does, but you don't have to um, have your yarn in front anymore. So for knit stitches, you're just going to have it in the back as you usually would for knit stitches. Now in the knit row, we're also going to slip the first one off purlwise, pull it tight, and then just knit until you reach the next double stitch there. Here is our next one. So again, treat it as if it were one stitch. And knit it. Then turn your work again. We're at the purl side again. So again, slip the first stitch off purlwise and purl until you come across the next double stitch. There it is again. So you just purl that stitch. And there you go. And you see the heel has already begun to turn. And now you will just work in rows until you've come across and you've knit all of the double stitches. And then come back for the next tutorial video um, in which I'll show you how to close the gap in the corner so or, or on the edges of the heels all right i hope you enjoyed this tutorial video if you have any questions or if you have any difficulties please do not hesitate to contact me um, you can ask any questions below in the youtube thread um, and be sure to um, look at all my other tutorial videos and the pattern for this particular sock you can find it on my website um, that is also linked below in the description box. So happy knitting and I'll see you next time.